What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, our good sis, Cassandra. First of all, she is at 1.17K. Shout out to you, sis. Keep grinding. And I know this ain't even something that you, this is not even what you asked for, but you don't even understand how many people would love to even have a thousand subscribers. So the fact that you do, uh, I think that it's a blessing. Um, and you did your damn thing. You. Hello. Um, I just want to say that while reacted to what's going on with Krishana, give me our updates. I want somebody that's legal, <laughs> somebody that can explain what's going on. And I have chose, uh, Miss Cassandra. So we're going to listen to the update on Krishan versus, um, James. Hey, 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 it's your girl, your favorite paralegal, a.k.a. A Cassandra Lynn. I almost messed up on my name. Yes, you did. Uh, I am coming to you guys to explain the June 28th hearing dates in the civil California case with Krishan Rock, uh, James Wright versus Krishan Rock. Let's get into it. Okay. So as you guys can see, there are two entries here oh, on the court docket at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, shit. Now, I do want to explain this. These hearings do not require Krishan's presence. presence. I hope I said it slow enough. You did. Okay? okay. What are these hearings? I'm going to explain that as well. Yeah. First entry here. We First have all, a fail one, one, one in the chat. One, one, one in the chat. Failure to file proof of service. If you have been with me long enough, you pretty much will know the process of the litigation process. Anytime a plaintiff or a petitioner files a lawsuit, the defendant or the respondent has to be served. They have to get notice, whether it is through process service, whether it's by posting, whether it's by there's different alternatives, but they have to be served. Right. Once they have fulfilled the <clears throat> service, however they did it, they have to file a return of service in a timely manner. Yep. In this case, when James Wright attorney filed the lawsuit, there is a citation or summons that is drafted. And that summons or citation yep. and a copy of the file marked petition or complaint mm -hmm. is sent either to a process server, a sheriff, or a constable. They have to affect service. Once that process server, constable, or sheriff places that item in the respondent's or the defendant's hand, then service has been completed. Now the court needs to be aware that service has been completed. Right. So what at the bottom of the summons or citation, there's going to be something that says return of service. That has to actually be. Uh, I know y'all may hear like it sound like gunshots being shot back here uh, at the crib. Ain't no little firework that is legal in Georgia. So they out here popping them, popping them, baby. I probably won't, but yeah, yeah. Uh, complete it by whoever process server constable sheriff and it has to be filed in the court so this hearing the first one it says failure to file proof of service so either they didn't file it or they they didn't file it in a timely manner mm -hmm. that is why they are discussing this has nothing as far as to do with Krishan. She does not have to be there. Now, even though you guys are going to see stuff where it says, you know, filed by James Wright, you got to understand when we file stuff on behalf of an individual, of mm. course, it's going to have the plaintiff's or the defendant's name on there. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh, James filed this. No, James attorney filed it. Okay. All right, so let's get that clear. So the process server, whoever it was, or the sheriff or the constable failed to file a proof of service or they didn't file it in a timely manner and they are having a meeting to discuss that. Because if service, if proof of service was not filed, that there's a whole nother avenue you have to go down. And I'm not going to discuss that. 
The next thing you see on the court docket is what's called the case management conference. This is where the attorneys uh, go before the judge and they say, hey, and it doesn't even have to be before the judge uh, in Texas. And even I do California cases as well. I, I do have attorneys that I contract with out there. Mm -hmm. You could do them by telephone. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, in person. So what will happen is they either appear before the judge or they will uh, do a conference call or a Zoom call and they will pretty much say, okay, here is where we are at in this case. Here are the steps that we are going to take. That's it. Okay. So looking at the docket, it shows the case was filed on 2-6. Then uh, la da 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 uh, the notice of case management conference was already placed. So normally what happens in some cases, you will see that they will set this out for a, how can I say this? A delayed date. I can't even think of the term I want to use, <laughs> but they'll set it far back enough to where the attorneys, if they wanted to work out something with the opposing counsel that they can, but it's, this is not something that was just made up. So on 2-7, they already set the notice of case management conference. It is like a progress report uh, between. Yeah, listen, I'm just listening, OK, because I need to learn what's going on. Too. The judges, the judge and the attorneys. What are you doing on this case? They want to make sure that the case is being moved, being moved pretty much. <clears throat> Uh, five, seven notice of case reassignment in order for plaintiff to give notice. So they reassigned the case. Uh, now it says five thirteen that the proof of service, um, not some wait, proof of service, not summons and complaint. So that's probably why they are having this. Cause if it says proof of service, not summons and complaint, I'm curious. Huh? Cause they did say that Krishan was, uh, served on the third if I'm not mistaken, of May. So I'm going to look more into that. Case was reassigned on the 13th. Da, 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 da. Case management statement was filed on 624. And that brings us to the hearing. So not much has happened. Normally in these type of cases, once the uh, respondent or the defendant has been served, then the next thing is to go into a discovery phase. But I'm sure that's what they're going to talk about in the case management hearing. So they got to go into discovery in the civil. Like what would the criminal part be if they have a discovery? I need to call Cassandra. Like to be honest, y'all, I know outside of like he say, she say. This shit is really real. You know what I'm saying? Like all the hearsay, I just don't even care about it at this point. It's gotten so ignorant, like. June, you're all involved. Why? So I'm just trying to hear what's going on for real. You know, <laughs> like that's that's my best bet. That's all it is. It's not something that's uh is required for James nor Krishan's appearance. So it doesn't matter that she is currently in uh the share in the county. All right. That's not something that she has to attend. James doesn't even have to attend. Is this something that is discussed between the attorneys and the judge, either in person, by phone, by Zoom, whatever the case may be, but it does not require the party's presence. Okay. Only the, the attorneys and only the judge. Because the judge in L.A. don't give a damn. <laughs> judge in L.A. ready to get this shit over with is how I feel anyway. And in Oklahoma, judge want to see her. I feel like that's the difference. I hope that is a clear enough explanation as to what is going on tomorrow. If you have any questions, don't message me on Facebook or <laughs> Instagram. Just leave it in a comment and I will answer. Until then, be blessed and I'm out. Later, sis. So, y'all, at the end of this video, I got y'all um, a reaction to the top, what, top 50, um, Woody, <laughs> Woody and the YSL trial um, reactions, child, or him just being rude. Um, so, y'all tap into that. I'm keeping y'all updated as much as I can. It's the last 
you know, a couple of days in a month. So I'm going to get y'all some videos. Beginning of the month, we're going full-fledged, period. I clearly had to move, so I had a lot going on this month, okay? I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me and, and uh, still staying with me. I promise y'all, this next month, because y'all know it's almost my birthday. I'm a <laughs> big Leo, you bet. But next month, July, we can get these cancers out of the way. Um, pun intended. We're going to tap in. So enjoy this next video, y'all. Love y'all. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into the top 50 little woody moments in the YSL trial. This is the best way I could get y'all some of this YSL trial, child. Because y'all think I can catch up, and we a little too far for that. Oh, I'm like, why does this look like this? Oh, no. So, it, what? Okay. All right. Why'd you destroy your shoulder? Cut in my shoulders. <laughs> Cut in my shoulders. What is 372? Numbers. Okay. He is such an asshole. And does the 372 correspond? to the letters of DRC on the phone pad. It could. I don't, I don't, I gotta look at the phone pad. See, how do you look at the phone pad to tell? I ain't gonna lie, especially a cell phone. You gotta be specific. Sure. Would the two of you go out? I go out with anybody, even you. I'm not okay. asking about me. C4 Echo Hotel. <clears throat> And once again, echo. Get back. <coughs> now, why the hell he told her to get back like that? <laughs> why did he mm -hmm. tell her to do that? If he said I said it, I said it. And is that true or that not true that you left her home around 5 o'clock? Mm. If you know something about me, I don't keep up with the time or the days. I just go with the flow. If you know, something is it your about desire me? to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. She fired. Now that one I remember. She's fired. Okay. How old are you? Grown. Okay. What does grown mean? I'm an adult. Okay. And when you say you're an adult, what number in years are you? I plead the fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get you? Okay, huh. but you were you had to be. Why, why did he say that? <laughs> Kel, why not say it was Kel? Because I had to convince them. I got to I got to I got to make it seem. If I say Kel shot me. I, gotta... I feel like he did all this for uh, Young Thug. He wanted Young Thug to show him some mercy when God forbid he get up out of How you know? I care know where you stay at. So I got I got to I got to come up with something to make them know. Okay, well, taping over here. You know what I mean? So, I, okay, Tay, I, I don't know. Like, but listen, the, you keep asking me. I told you, I don't know who shot at me. Okay. When's the first time that you recall meeting Young Thug? Uh, at the studio. And roughly, what about what year are we talking about? Before I went to jail. Which time? <laughs> right. <laughs> Roughly 14 years. You know. Well, I've been in jail most of that time, so. Did you all speak while you were in jail? A few times. Okay. So your friendship didn't stop once you just because you went to jail? What you mean? I said, I said. Did your friendship stop just because you went to jail? Or Who determined when a friendship start and stop? <laughs> you have to ask that again because I ain't for sure what you asked. Sure. I'll ask you again. 2014, 2015, have you ever... Oh, wait. He's so aggravating. And then had to yawn and, like, make the noise with it, too. I'm tired. <laughs> you and I both. Okay. While y'all were in school, did y'all develop a friendship? Nope. <laughs> At some point in time, did you ever develop a friendship with Shannon? Yeah. Okay. When was that? Uh, I don't know when, but... At one point, we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C-O-O-L. 
<laughs> I didn't ask you to spell it. I asked you what you mean. So you say you don't remember telling him about what happened at the... But if he said that I told him that, I'm telling you right now, I told him that. So can you start asking me where I supposed to told Detective Thorpe? Because I'm telling you now, if he said that I said anything about anything, I'm telling you, more likely I probably did. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you about all the things that you talked to Detective Thorpe about. Up there looking like an eight-year-old mad because they, he couldn't get him Madonna for the day. Now, Miss Coleman, do you have a nickname? You're smiling. You have, do you have, ask me a question? Do you have a nickname? Yeah. What's your nickname? Psycho. Okay. You never met any of his family members? I never met none of his. Psycho is crazy. His family members. Okay. What about any of his girlfriends? What you mean? Have you ever met any of the people he ever dated? I don't know how he's seen them, but I've seen him with girls. Okay, so you met some of the people that he may or may not have dated. I guess. You said what now? Tell me who you recognize in 380 Yankee. Oh, me and Coco. Who's Coco? The ugly boy right here. Okay. <laughs> you see Pokey at the club. You want me to be honest with you? I, I think I just did. I just told you the God and the truth of what I did from January or uh, uh, from 2014 until 20, the 21. Every time they got me, I, they already know me. They already know I got a whole bunch of bullshit to say. I'm going to ask you to refrain from cursing. What? Oh, 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 oh sorry, everybody. No disrespect. Uh, I'm sorry about it. But. Oh, rule, sir. He was so oh, rule, mad. Sir. <laughs> Why did you have the gun at Dunbar Recreation Center? I just pleaded guilty to it. Did you tell officers that you were trying to sell that gun and that's why you had it at the Dunbar Recreation? Again, I was going to jail. Did he ever threaten you to give a name? <laughs> nah, but he kept asking me to make me say a name and the, uh, you, like how you keep asking me a question, I, I'm going to say something to, to answer you so you can stop asking me the same question. Why would I lie to convince them to not go to jail? Right. But they don't know that I'm lying. So they didn't let you go immediately, did they? Sometimes they let me go. Right. But so when the time they let me go, I thought I was smarter than them. Did the detective say that they had to fact check what you said before they let you go? Can you say that again? Sure. Did the detective <laughs> say that they had to fact Every check? Every time he said that, she said, sure. You were telling them. And, and you know, in certain situations. Right. And so what benefit would it be to lie if they told you that they had to fact check it? Oh, it was no benefit because what they did was they picked and choose where they wanted to take from me and they still left me in jail. So they, nah, he out of jail now. All that snitching he did, he ain't got to do no time. Came back and beat me in the butt. Okay. Now he in jail in the streets. He got to make sure his ass don't get on the live up by him. Do you not know anyone or you can't see it? Why can't you? You actually never asked for an answer because you Oh, sir. Why can't you recognize the picture? What you mean? Do you not see? What do you mean when you say you don't know who I can't recognize the picture. Do you see yourself in that picture? No. You do not see yourself? Your picture blur. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither in a little more detail <laughs> that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand? I'm not walking up down nobody up. <laughs> now, do you recall, tell, do you recall <clears throat> independently that after Thug told Kel, beef ain't over with until you pay for my window, you shot my window, that you told Kel what you told Kel? What? Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so you told Kel, yes? Yes. So was that your Instagram account back in 2015? My Instagram account is Woody vs. Woody. I asked back in From 2015. From back then, I think my Instagram account is the same account as it is today. Okay. Woody vs. Woody. 
I'm not a hundred percent sure. I this I don't did so much time away from society. You ask me about something I, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really, a lot of this stuff you're talking about, like, I don't, not, I've remember. been through too much to be trying to remember certain stuff or these questions you're asking me. Like, you, you, you discombobulated me up here. Like, <laughs> you want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? Right? I, I can't tell you the truth. If you sitting here, you want, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I don't know how to answer these questions. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what y'all got going on, like for real. Like you asked me about 2015, what something I said to the investigators. You know what I mean? Investigators try to question me about this. Yes, and we're gonna talk <laughs> he about He don't know what to say. This is Woody, uh, who was in the YSL trial, one of Young Thug uh old friends that snitched on him. What occurred at the Bar Recreation Center? I was playing basketball, the police came in there and locked me up. And why did the police lock you up? Because I'm Woody. Did you have a gun at the gun bar right here? I had a basketball in my hand. You said you consider yourself 372. What was 372? It ain't for you to know. Ah! I'm going to ask you again, Mr. Pope, what was 372? 372. Was that a game? What you de- what do you define as a game? Mr. Copeland, I'm I, asking a question. I'm, I can't that. answer your question if I don't know what you're talking about. Were you, was it you and a group of people a part of 372? And what's a group of people? Are you married? Nope. Are you in a relationship? Nope. Right. Do you have children? You know that. Okay. I do, but the jury doesn't. Do you have children? Yep. All right. How many? I would have cussed them out every time. More than one. All right. Do you have more than three? I might. Ain't no telling. Okay. That's perfect. That's fair. Do you have two that you know of? Oh, he on house arrest. He got an ankle monitor. I went to his Instagram. Yeah. All right. And how old are your two children? The same age. What's that? I don't know. Y'all been having me in jail so long. I can't recall. Okay. Were you in jail on Friday? Prior to? All his comments turned off, too. Yeah, I was in jail Friday. Were you in jail on Thursday? Thursday came yet. No, last Thursday. I felt like it. What types of things would you do with Tip? What you mean? Did y'all go out? Did you go shoot dice? Did you go to the club? What type of things would you do with Tip? Things. Young black men doing the neighborhood. I don't know what young black men do in the neighborhood. So what is try it? to survive and stay away from the police. Do you know anything else besides trying to survive and stay away from the police? Yeah, get locked up. Remember or do you not remember? I told you already. I don't remember. You keep asking me. So if you don't remember, just say you do not remember. I object. Your Honor, I'll ask. Oh, I'll sustain the question. I don't know. They never really told us who the new lawyer was, but every question she got, the new lawyer be like, oh, Your Honor, I object. Your Honor, I, uh, I, I object. I'll sustain the record that you. Your Honor, I'll ask. And he would never give him that. Uh, he would never give it to him for the most part. You can he, instruct he Mr. sustained a few. Cope, if he does not remember, just to say he does not remember. Mr. Copeland, just answer the question to the best of your ability, okay? I thought I did, Judge. You're, you're. I told her I don't remember no conversation I had with. She trying to cross me up. She trying to say this and that when I, I don't told her I don't I don't told the police anything they wanted to hear for them to. And she keep asking me over and over. You're not to answer the question, sir. Okay. About how old were you all when you took this picture? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have hair on your head when you take this picture? What you, when you took the picture? And <laughs> yeah, what you trying to say? <laughs> that he bald now? <laughs> it look like I got hair on my head. What is stupid? How long ago have you been bald? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
when I got out of prison. Okay. So this is before you went into prison? She's dressing that boy out. This is an old picture. And that's what I need to know. Thank you very much. When you are addressing or talking about them, how do you distinguish the two little D's from each other? What you mean? Do you call one of them little D from Cleveland? If you ask me, if you ask me which little D I'm talking about. And that's what I'm asking you. When you are but talking you about. But you should ask me that. Mr. Copeland. <laughs> which little What's D. What's in his mouth? I don't remember what I said to him. Do you recall? Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me and not me. I'm... You recall telling the detective that? I guess I don't, I don't, I don't remember what I said to him. Do you recall? Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me and not me. I'm, I'm just thinking, because he, he told me, I remember him saying he want that gun. That's all I remember him kept saying. He want that gun. And when you say putting pressure, what do you mean? Same thing you're doing to me now. You keep putting pressure on me. <laughs> do you see Shannon in the courtroom today? Well, I got a vision problem. Okay. I can't see that far. All right, so if you want to stand up and look around the courtroom and tell look around the entire courtroom, tell me if you see Shannon in the courtroom today. This fool say he got a vision problem, yeah. Oh. You need to sit down? Nah, I can light here. I ain't had any drink. Uh, do you want some water? You gonna give me a drink? I get some water. I don't drink water. Well, I don't have nothing else for you, but I will put up some water up there for you. <laughs> Who am I looking for? Shannon. I think I see him. Okay. When you say you think you can have a seat. When you say you think you see him, what do you think he's wearing? Look like he's wearing gray over there. So who are you pointing to over there that's wearing gray? I think the lady got red hair. Okay, so you pointing to a lady and not Shannon? No, uh, the one behind her. Okay, so you are you believe that the person behind the lady with the red hair is Shannon. Is that what you're saying today? Well, it looked like him. Okay. Does anybody else over there look like Shannon? I don't think Young Thug forgive him. Well, I see right here, he don't forgive him. He's still in some shit. Yeah. Okay, who's the other person who looks like Shannon over there? He's standing behind the ball head dude right there. He's standing or he's sitting? I sit down, I guess. Okay. What's his hairstyle? Ball head. So you're saying Shannon's the one with the bald head? Or he's sitting no, behind No, he's sitting him? behind the dude with the bald head. I think that's him. Okay. There's two people with dreads. I can't see the, I just see dreads. Okay. And again, are you the only person sitting in that interview room when you had, when outside of investigator Gaither and Gaither, excuse me, outside of investigator Gaither and investigator Dennis? Unless you don't count the ghost that's in there with me. <laughs> okay. Um, Girl, she was tired. Tired of that nigga. You have permission to approach? He, she trying hey, to tie him out. He trying Sir. to tie her out. I'm hot. Can I take this sweat off? Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither in this January 28th interview that Thug said, nigga, I don't care about none of it. What, look what y'all got going on. You still shot at me. Just pay for my window. You gonna pay for my window. Hey, man, I ain't letting that go. Yes. Yes, you remember Thug saying that? Thug said it. Are you saying, yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither? I know I, I, know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you. I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you would just answer the questions properly. I am answer the question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep when I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, oh, you no, just no, tell no, the no. court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along. I think I said it loud and clear. So again, will you just answer the questions and we can move the process along? You keep asking okay, yes. Is that 
what are you answering yes to? Your question. Good morning, Mr. Coco. Good morning. You have permission to approach? No. She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. Okay. Um, counselors, you... Do you recall... Uh -huh. well, he do the most. <laughs> ...all talking to this detective about what... That nigga told her no, y'all. She's asking... You have permission to approach? No. <laughs> She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. Okay. Um, counselors, you... Oh Do you my recall God. at all talking to this detective about what happened that Monday night at Club Crucial with you and Kel, the the fight between you and Kel? Uh, I don't recall nothing specific that me and him talk about outside of the nothing shooting with Pacific. my child. Nothing specific, you heard him. And I barely remember some of that stuff. You you talking about some years ago when I don't even know what I did for three, four days ago. Yes. Yes, you remember telling detective. No, I'm tired of watching it. Either that. I know he was tired. I don't remember what I don't told the police. Let me ask you this: Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Most definitely. Okay. You ask me about questions that I was supposed to be asked back then. That I, if I say something, you gonna say, "Oh, I might impeach him," or whatever you, whatever the word is you use. When I don't know, I can't, I can't answer that. Okay. Do you recall telling your girlfriend when it was just the two of you, I did when he jumped out the car. I know exactly who I saw. I don't, I don't, at that point, it was so much pressure on me. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know I mean, I'm a daughter of crime, trying to take her to the hospital. Uh, Spitler. Somebody pull up on me, soon. I, I, I'm soon. trying to figure out what made me have the gun to go to the hospital. It's all type of stuff going through my mind. I don't know. I too much is going on. Yeah, I can't because she keep asking me these questions and. <sighs> Somebody just asked him. Mr. Something. Copeland, just take a breath, okay? Oh, we do need to take down your testimony, so you do need to speak a little slower, all right? Okay. All right. All right. It was some investigator right there talking to me, but when he looked and seen who I was, he called somebody, then they went jumping out of the sky, coming out of the bushes, every which way, they questioned me right there. I don't know who it was they questioned me. Earlier, I asked you about whether you were concerned about being labeled a snitch. Do you recall telling Detective Copeland? Detective who? I mean, excuse me, Detective Copeland. Detective Curry. Now I'm a detective. Or was it? I mean, you know that was an accident, you asshole. Yeah. So do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that she was present at the pool party um, that occurred prior to um Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I, I don't know, I guess. Do you remember? Do you not remember? I don't recall. What I'm trying to tell you is our conversation was about something that I said in the past. I understand. I'm asking you yes. Mr. Copeland allowed to finish his answer. Okay, all right. Well, I thought he was Mr. Copeland, you need to finish your answers? No, I need a break, young. Say again? I need a break. No. Yeah. I was asleep. Okay. At some point, did you wake up? I had to. I'm here today. All right. Oh, my God. He's such an asshole. Child, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I had some people ask me uh, to react to Woody in this YSL situation. I want y'all to know I'm too far behind. I feel as though to um, go all the way through it, they're on like day 90. So that's a lot. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.